Hey guys, this is going to be just a real quick refresher of the air masses portion of the PowerPoint from the last unit. So, as we talked about in the last unit, air masses are classified according to their source region. And if you just know a few of these words, you don't have to memorize that convoluted map that you'll see on the next slide here. So just keep in mind, most people know what warm and dry and cold mean, but a couple of these other words might give you some pause. Things like continental simply means that it formed over land. Tropical means that it formed near the equator. Humid means it's kind of wet. Maritime means it formed over the ocean. Polar means it formed near the poles, or it's coming from the poles. And Arctic meaning that it's coming from the Arctic circles. Okay, so if you put those together, you can identify any of these five major types of air masses that all occur in North America. And you can see those here based off of where they occur. So knowing, seeing this one here, I know that it's over water. It looks like it's coming from the equator because the equator is down in this direction. I can tell that it's a maritime because it's over the ocean. It's tropical because it's coming from the equator. And if it comes from the equator, it's going to be generally warm. Uh, conversely, I can see that this one forms over land, so I know it's automatically going to be continental. It's coming from the poles, so it's going to be polar. It's probably going to be cold because near the poles it is rather cold. So keeping those things in mind will help you remember these air masses. Okay, as we talked about in the last one, a front is a boundary simply between two air masses. Okay, this is the symbol for the cold front. We remember what the cold front is from the last unit, so I'm just going to recover the symbols here. It is the blue one with the pointed teeth. The warm front is the red with the rounded teeth. Stationary front is um, just when a cold and a warm hit and they stay. And so that's going to be characterized by alternating blue and red. And then the occluded is where the cold overtakes the warm front, and that's going to be characterized by red and blue mixing to form purple. 